Okay, well, I'm going to be doing a draft here, Triple Estrad. Won't be using Moto, because, well, I like cheaper systems, so we're going to be using this MagicDraftSim.com. It's not perfect, but it'll at least let you uh, see the draft order. Um, okay, here's the first pack. We open a Mold Graph Monstrosity. Not a big fan of the card. Uh, seven mana is a lot in this format. And it just doesn't seem to have a big enough impact on the board. Um, mentionables here would be Claustrophobia, Stitch Drake, Deadweight, Scab Goliath. Probably going to go with the Claustrophobia. Um, pick two, we have Mausoleum Guard, Makeshift Mauler, um, Rockish Hair to some extent, and Vampire Interloper. Probably Mausoleum Guard. It's one of the better uncommons that you can get from the set. And White Blue isn't terrible. Um, third pack. We have a Brimstone Volley, Invisible Stalker, Hamlet Captain. Invisible Stalker and Hamlet Captain are fine as picks 2 through 5. Brimstone Volley is fine as pick 1 through 4, probably. Any later than that, and you definitely want to snatch it up because... Nobody is apparently taking red. Um, probably going to go blue-white, so I'm going to take the stalker here. Um, and we've got nothing. Um, good cards are the cultist here, but for blue-white we don't really have anything, so I'm probably going to take the moment of heroism. Another essential blank. Um, it seems that red's going around decently well, but I don't know if I want to go blue, white, red. Um, the two best cards probably are Harvest Pyre and the Pilgrim, but I'll probably just go with the Pyre. Um, this is an easy one. It's Claustrophobia, probably. It's easily the best card in limited, so. Aside from the obvious rares and stuff. And. Huh. Don't really have anything we want to be taking here, so let's take the shiny. Uh, think twice isn't bad in this type of deck. Neither is Spectral Flight. Uh, that plus Stalker is really, really disgusting. We also want to be picking up some of these equipments that boost humans, uh, because blue-white humans is definitely a deck in limited. In fact, that last pick probably should have been the Pitchfork, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, Spare from Evil, not many people pick it up, but if you can pick it up late enough, it's actually a really good card, and a really good combat trick. Another Spectral Flight. Um, probably won't play it, but Lost in the Mist. Again. Pick so far. And what do we open? Nothing we really want. That's what. Um, Desperate Ravings is fine. I don't know if I like in this type of deck, but there's nothing really here that I want to be taking super early. Um, probably take the Dual Land here, so I can splash Thread more consistently, I guess. Um, not Black, so I don't really want the High Priest or the Unburial Rites. Um, another really good card is obviously Deadweight. Probably going to take the Rig here. Um, that way I don't have to switch colors at this point. Um, Priest is probably the best, co best card for our colors. Lantern Spirit isn't bad, um, but I prefer removal when possible. Um, Moaning the Unhollowed is also good. 
and uh, dead weight again, pretty good. The faster hide bores, good for what they do. Um, blood crazy unite, um, it's good in like red black aggro and red white aggro, um, but not in this type of deck. All kinds of dead weights everywhere. Probably going to go with Rebuke here. Uh, let's see here. You can never have enough to, uh, removal, I guess. Uh, Elder Cathar and Pitchburn Devils. Those, that's what it's between. I personally like Pitchburn Devils quite a bit, but... Elder Cathar helps with the blue-white human strategy. Another red one, Dual Land. Hmm. Uh, Curiosity is really good for this type of deck. So is Chapelgeist. Um, I don't think I want to be splashing red at this point. So go Chapelgeist. Um, this pick would probably be between Blazing Torch and Voiceless Spirit. I think I have enough removal at this point with Double Claustrophobia. Uh, and Rebuke, and the Priest, that I just want to take the Spirit and get some more creatures in the deck. And now we're going to go back to our Red Splash, because Guy's Flame is probably worth it. Um, Abby Griffin's fine. All kinds of Spectral Fights, too. Um, I already have two of them. Probably don't want any more of them, but the rest of the cards are green. Um, bleh, not a very good pack. Uh, just take the heroism. Uh, Chapel guys probably shouldn't still be here, but definitely taking it. Um, sure. And we open the Liliana, and we're going to ignore it because this isn't Moto, so no money's involved, and take the Slayer of the Wicked. And then we get past a Garouk. Hmm, quite interesting. Ugh. Well, those are both pretty insane cards, not in my colors, and this is the third pack. However, I don't really need any of the rest of these cards. So I'm just going to hate on the Garouk. And then promptly hide it. Uh, Rage Thrower, Scab Goliath, and Silent Departure are all good for this strategy. Uh, Keswick Wolf isn't bad, especially with the Spectral Flights. If they don't have removal for the Wolf, it just completely eats them alive. Um, I think Rage Thrower is probably going to be my pick makes combat situations come out in your favor a lot more often. Um, how many spells do we have here? Five, one, two, three, four. Um, I don't think I have enough spells to justify Delver Secrets, but I'm going to take it anyways. None of the rest of these picks are overly exciting. This pick is probably between Into the Mall of Hell and Galvanic Juggernaut, because like I said, last pick I didn't really want to be taking the Delver, so I definitely don't want a second one. I think Galvanic Juggernaut's just better. Uh, sharpen Pitchfork at this point, because we kind of missed out on all of the human equipment that we were kind of wanting to get, so... Um, Chapelgeist or Doom Traveler, either one's fine since we have zero Doom Travelers and two Chapelgeists. I think I prefer Chapelgeist a little bit more since it is bigger and as flying. 
sharpened pitchfork was also fine there. Um, here it's between Elder Cathar and Blazing Torch. Um, I've got 14 creatures at the moment. Probably just take the Elder Cathar. Um, Sensory Deprivation is going to be my pick here. As LSV likes to say, it's basically the blue swords to plowshares in this format. Um, One-Eyed Scarecrow is obviously a really good sideboard card, so let's just take that. And again... Ghost Quarter is really good for dealing with all the insane lands in this format, so, and at this point, we don't really have many choices. Urgent Ex Exorcism is probably going to be better for our deck than Wings. Um, we can at least board it in in some of the matchups. And this is what it ended up looking like. Um, let's start building our deck, shall we? Ended up. Okay, this is what I ended up with. Um, I think it looks decently solid. Um, I might have liked to have had maybe one or two more creatures, and definitely one or two more pieces of equipment, but this should be fine on draft. Another great thing about this free draft sim, you can go through and see what your opponents uh, drafted. So, it's really handy to see how it's ordered in draft pick-wise, I guess. Um, but... And there you go.